Hi folks, if you're watching this, you're either considering or have just bought an Explorer rear fold. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up from new and add a few tricks that'll make life a lot easier. The first thing I've done to make life easier for myself is I've retrieved the pole bag out from under the bed in the camper. That's easy to do. Move the spare wheel out of the way, open the rear access door, and you can access the canvas and the poles that are packed under the bed. So I've emptied them in here into their caddy on top of the toolbox. Makes it easy for me to find whatever poles I'm looking for for the setup. I've also retrieved the tropical roof pole and the tropical roof. The tropical roof's easy to identify. It's beige canvas and it's got adjustable buckles on the side. And if you open it up, at one end it's got Velcro, at the other end it's got buckles. That's also going to help us identify which way it goes on top of the tent. So now, let's get it open and move on to setting it up. When setting up any rear fold camper, always put the rear stabiliser legs down. With this one, take the weight of the stabiliser leg at the end, pull the handle out and lower it down. Then once it's in position, wiggle it, make sure that handle pops in and locks. Then we can lower it down. Make sure you do this both sides at the rear of the camper. To open up the spare wheel carrier, undo the over center latches either side at the bottom here. Get them out of the way and then pull it out. You can swing that round and there's a pad bolt there to lock it out of the way. Now we've cleared access to the back access door. So you can open that up, grab your poles in your tropical roof pole and your tropical roof out of there. It's also handy for packing the camper before you go away. Always, before you set up though, make sure you close it again. Now it's a matter of connecting up the winch, run out some slack and undo the six over center latches around the camper. On the base frame, you'll notice there's four feet with locking screws. These, when you're on uneven ground, once you've opened your camper, you can adjust these to make sure you've got a firm footing all the way around on the floor so it's not twisting and creaking while you walk around on it. Now we can just push the lid open and the gas struts will take over. There we go, now I can winch it down. Remember, always stay out of the line of the winch strap. Never stand behind it, stand to one side every time. There you go, folks. Easy as that, it's now down. We can set up our tropical roof. Now just getting the winch strap out of the way, wind it back up, then nobody's tripping over it, it's not sitting in mud or dirt. It's important to keep the webbing in these clean. Once you get grit, dirt or any contaminants in the webbing, you can actually wreck it and that's when you'll have a failure while you're winching it up or down. When you inspect your tropical roof, you'll see at one end, we've got the loop Velcro, and at the other end, we've got adjustable buckles. This Velcro section needs to be at the front of the camper, up near the toolbox, where you'll see on, top, on the roof of the main tent, the hook section of Velcro. So now we're gonna insert our pole, attach it onto the top of the main tent, and then we can have our tropical roof laid out, ready for adjustment once we've set up the main tent. To set up the tropical roof, you'll need this pole, and it's two piece. There's a little button you press in, which allows you to separate it. This section will go through these loops in the center of the tropical roof. So you feed them through. All the way. Then once this is on top, 
we can connect this in on the other side, put it into its socks on top of the main bow pole in the camper, and then affix the tropical roof at each end. So now I just get my tropical roof over the top. I'm using the pole inside here to get it over on top of it. tack it onto the Velcro in the meantime. Just on top of this ridge up here is a sock, basically a material sleeve in which we slide the tropical roof pole into. Get it started, push that in. Start our strap off here. Don't do it up too tight, just get it started and you can adjust it later. Make sure that the tropical roof's sitting absolutely spot on and the pole is sitting up vertical. Now that that's in, I've done up my strap and got it started. I can now insert the other part of the pole from the other side. You only have to do this once, so don't stress that this is part of every setup. Just get our pole started in the sock. Now we can run it up through the sleeves inside the tropical roof and connect it up with the other half of the pole. So there you go, my buckle started on this side, it's done on the other side. Now I'm gonna Velcro the front and attach the buckles on the back but I'm gonna leave it quite loose so I can set up my main tent and adjust the tropical roof at the end of it. Before setting up the main tent, grab all the skirt area around the trailer, fold it over and get it in position. That way it's not bunched up or getting stretched when you put the main tent up. If you find when you set up your rear fold that the floor doesn't actually come down level, the back wants to sit up a little bit. What you can do is lower the jockey wheel until the floor comes down level, then extend the stabiliser legs again. Then go back to the jockey wheel and level the camper with those, then put the front stabiliser legs down. That way you're not lifting the weight of the camper with the stabiliser legs. As I've said many times, you can break the little roll pin in the sun gears and the bevel gears. So, but if you extend them, then take the weight by using the jockey wheel, it won't hurt your stabiliser legs at all. Before we jump inside to set up the main tent, we consult the pole diagram, see what poles we need to take in there with us. And I can see from the diagram, it's two number nine poles, four number 12 spreader poles, and two number eight short stubby poles, which are these ones with a clip on one end and a rubber boot on the other. So I'll grab all those, put them inside, and we can put up the main tent. The Explorer rear fold tent is one of those tents that if you're setting up for a quick overnight, it really doesn't need spreader poles. It sits extremely well just on the bow poles and at the back you will need to put the upright ones in and at the very front the two little short poles that hold up the front bow pole. Other than that, if it's a quick overnight, it's not raining, it's not particularly windy, it's perfect without these main spreader poles. But if you're going to get a bit of inclement weather or wind or you're putting the annex up, absolutely put in those spreader poles. They'll help reduce pooling and they'll add extra strength and keep the frame rigid when the annex is up. Because we're gonna stay a bit longer or it's gonna rain, we wanna make sure we get the canvas nice and taut. We just add these two spreader poles up the front, then two spreader poles between the main bow pole and the back angled pole. Because the tent roof's so high, you'll probably have to stand up on the ledge or on the bed to get your spreader poles in and connect them up. Once they're in, you can readjust your bow poles and keep the canvas nice and taut. So I'm going to explain the process in full when setting up the main tent. 
When you first hop inside the tent to set it up, you might find that this pole is in your way, it's dragging the canvas down, and you wanna make yourself some room to set the rest up. So what I do is I grab one of these poles, which is the number nine, <laughs> and I'll raise this pole up, put a number nine pole underneath it, just to hold it up out of the way. It gives me a bit of room to move in here. Then the next step in the process, raise the main bow pole here. So this one in the center, put it up, not too tight. You don't want to overstress the canvas and tear seams or the canvas. Uh, you don't want the stitching coming apart. So put it up, get it taut, not tight. The next step is to push forward this bow pole that runs up at roughly a 45 degree angle. Extend that, then put the two little support poles up the front. So you'll see them in each corner. Put them underneath, then readjust this pole so this part of the tent takes shape correctly. From there, it becomes very easy. You get the front half of the tent right and the back will show you the way to do it. As you extend this rear bow pole, you'll see the canvas walls and the roof take shape. All the creases will come out of it and it'll look correct. From there, you then readjust the rear hoop pole, which connects off this with a hinge. Extend that out, bring it to the right height, and then put the second number nine pole underneath that, and then you'll see the tent has taken shape. Then you can come back in, put your spreader poles in, readjust everything with all the windows and doors closed. Remember to do that. That way, once you finish and your tent looks fantastic, all the zippers will work correctly because there's no pull points or stress points on them. They'll unzip freely and you'll be able to use the tent. There you go folks, setting up the main tent for Explorer rear fold, perfect for an overnight stay. Not too many poles and not a great deal of effort. <music>